this is Deneen Waslick and today I'm going to show you how to number, bookmark, and cross-reference a brief for filing in the District Court of Appeal. We have here a typical brief and I'm going to show you first how to add bookmarks. The first step is to actually add the bookmarks into your documents so that you can then cross-reference them. And here we have a typical brief saved as a PDF we're going to click the blue bookmark button and you see there's nothing here. Um, but it's very easy to create them. Just hit this little new bookmark button and it gives you the option to name something. Now the cover is easy, but let's go down to the next page and we're going to name the table of contents. A good trick is you can select the words that you want to be the name of the page. Come on down again and we'll select table of authorities and just create the bookmark. Another thing that's important is that you can make, you can start making subheadings in your bookmark pane. So now I've created this one and I'm going to come down and look, we have a subheading. So I'm going to click this, click it, and tell this to be a subheading by kind of pulling it up down into here. Let's try that again. Select it, click new bookmark. Click New Bookmark, got that unstuck, click New Bookmark, pull it up under here, it'll be child to this one. Oh, we don't want it to be a total child though, we want it to be there. Okay, sometimes you have to manipulate it a little bit. I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to pause and just do the rest of them and then show you. If they come out of order like this one just did, not a big deal. Just pull it down, it'll go where it belongs. You can use this to rearrange them if you need to. Another trick, once you have these children, if you want to make sure that the next major level is at a major level, you can click this minus side here to collapse them and then create the next bookmark. Once you've done that, you can now create the next sub bookmark under that and pull it just a wee bit to pull it over to the next area. All right, behind the scenes, we've gone ahead and added in our entire table of contents. Now we're going to come up and we're going to do the renumbering. As I said, the next step is renumbering your PDF. And what do we mean by renumbering here? Well, your PDF right now starts on page one, but your cover is not really page one. So I'm going to right click on your cover. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to your page view. Then I'm going to right click on the actual cover and you see this box here, you get a lot of options including number pages. So I don't want my cover to be page one and I don't even want it to be Roman numeral one. I'm just going to name it cover. So I'm going to say begin a new section with ABC, start at C. Okay, so now you'll see right here my cover starts with a C. Now I have the page that I really want to be Roman numeral one and all the way up to, I guess, Roman numeral 6 before we get to what now says page 7, it should be page 1, right? So once again, I'm going to right click, number pages, and I'm going to go from page 1 to 6, um, style my Roman numerals, start at Roman numeral 1, and hit OK. Now, as you see, what I have numbered Roman numeral 1, Acrobat also thinks it's Roman numeral 1. Now when I type in page 1, actually get to what we've numbered as page 1 in this document. It's a fantastic thing. This is also a really good way to make sure if you're getting a, if you're looking at a copy of the record on appeal that um, the page numbering you know, the for page one is actually, you know, 10 pages in after front matter. You can use this same technique so that when you're typing page one in the little box up here, you're getting what the clerk has called record number page one. So now that you've made your bookmarks and you've fixed your page numbering, the last step is to link your bookmarks in the table of contents. And this one is not strictly required, but it's really helpful, I think, to both the court and to you when reading later to have done it. So here goes. We're going to start right here in our table of contents and um, I'm going to select the word table of contents in my bookmarks and I am going to 
come over here on the side to tools and I'm going to um, do content editing and do add or edit link okay now I get this little crosshatch and I'm going to select the table of contents right over here I usually do a big box to cover this whole area so anywhere in this box that we're creating that someone clicks is going to get them to the right place so I'm letting, letting go of this and I get this lovely box that is asking me do I want what kind of link do I want always choose invisible rectangle we don't want a whole bunch of like weird boxes cluttering up our table of contents and highlight style none and when you click on the link you want to go to a page view hit next and now it's going to tell me use your scroll bars or we could use our bookmarks that we just made to tell it where to set the link so this one's going to be easy table of contents table of contents click it set link nothing's moved right but here's where the magic happens do this to table of authorities it should remember your last choice you don't have to keep doing that which is lovely hit next click on table of authorities up here set my link statement of the case and of the facts next click it set link okay we keep seeing these things once we get out of this view once we just go to like the hand view again we won't see those boxes but now see my, my hand just turned to a little pointer if I click on table of authorities I go to table of authorities if I click on statement of the case and facts I go to the statement of the case and facts so there you have it that is how you both bookmark and number and set cross references in your PDF for filing with the court. Thank you very much for watching. For more tips, feel free to go to our website, www.floraappellate.com. Thanks much.